Welcome back, everybody. It's Men's Health Month at Doctors Inn. We're talking about men's health, and ladies, we can get in on this too. Dr. Stephen Williams from Corewell Health. Uh, the first question, doctors, we have to talk about weighing yourself. As we, we do know that keeping our weight in check is one of the most important things we can do for our health. Impacts so many other aspects of our lives. So. Stepping on the scale every day, yes or no? You know, I, I don't do that personally. Uh, maybe once a week, I would, I would say is pretty reasonable. But there are people who really should weigh themselves every day. Uh, those are people who suffer from heart failure, congestive heart failure, because a, a sudden change overnight of three, four, five pounds can mean that you're holding on to extra fluid. It's not that you're suddenly gained five pounds of uh, fat or muscle. You are probably holding on to water, and right. uh, and uh, it, you want to catch that early, you know, because you can intervene and keep people from winding up in the hospital. And I will say this: as we talk about the American Heart Association, there is a study that they quote here that p people who weighed themselves once a week did not lose weight. People who weighed themselves six or seven times a week averaged a 1.7% weight loss, so a little bit. Yeah, a little bit, and every 20 pounds of weight loss is worth about 10 points off the blood pressure. So in addition to just uh, having other health benefits, you know, it lowers your blood pressure, and if your blood pressure is down, you're less likely to have a heart attack or a stroke, so, you know, weight is definitely something that people should pay attention to. Yeah, so figure out whatever works for you, because you mm -hmm. don't want it to crush your, you know, all your motivation if the number is not the right number. Let's talk about this Life's Essential 8, because this is something, we're talking men's health, but ladies, this is for all of us. So this is sort of eight rules to live by, uh, according to the American Heart Association. And the first one is eat better. Eat better, you know, uh, try to incorporate fruits and vegetables. Uh, sometimes we think about um, food and we think about things we should avoid. But if you really think about food and things that you should incorporate, right. you know, if you're, if you're eating the healthy things, your appetite for the unhealthy things starts to go down. And I will say, I think we said this on Facebook Live, so the one, I want to say it on TV too. Mm -hmm. Doctor, you have a friend who has started eating just raw cucumbers and raw peppers for breakfast. Yep, he loves vegetables and uh, started doing this for his breakfast. And instead of having a 400 calorie breakfast, he turned that into a 100 calorie breakfast. And you know, if you subtract 500 calories from your diet every day, that's a pound a week, you know, and over a year, 52 pounds, you know, so. And that fills you, that's water, that's mm -hmm. some fiber, that's mm -hmm. filling you up, it's convenient, you're just mm -hmm. grabbing uh, some cucumbers and peppers and. <laughs> yep, not a lot of prep time. Yeah, yep, yep. so it makes sense. Um, some of the other ones on this list that we went through, so be more active, quit tobacco, get sleep, manage your weight, mm -hmm. um, which is what we talked about with weighing yourself, of course. Um, controlling cholesterol, and we talked about this a little bit in our 8 o'clock hour, but that, that bad cholesterol number mm -hmm. is a really good indicator of what you're in for. Yeah, LDL cholesterol is a major predictor of heart attacks and strokes. And so if you had one number to look at with your cholesterol, look at your LDL cholesterol. LDL. LDL. And there are very inexpensive, relatively easy medications that can help bring that down um, right. and blood sugar and blood pressure so um, blood pressure another one easy to have that cuff either find the free one or get one for home yep the automated kinds are probably really easy to use and don't just do it once a year at the doctor's office right doctor? <laughs> that's right that's right <laughs> good stuff uh, dr williams thank you thank you very so much. much good information hopefully some of it will stick with all of us right ryan